Hey, what's going on? This is Colt from Spit and Tax Upholstery. Welcome. This is my world. Make your world the same. Whatever you know trips your trigger, makes you shine inside. Keep the Lord close to you. That's what I do. I'm a praying man, and uh, that's my first and foremost. And then, like I said, whatever beauties make you feel good to work because work pays the bills you ready to pay some bills here we go remember last video this is the finished product this is a gunnel that we did okay remember there was two matching I showed you this is the finished product remember how we folded it over 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 and then you didn't see this part but today so this is the this is what she had this is what she wanted and what she got um, we changed the piping from red on this one to white and we changed the this is the top of the boat this is the uh, um, the bow so she went from white to red and she kept the blue but I went a little a little better blue it, well plus this is sun faded but uh, this navy blue is, is beautiful. It's a pretty standard. And anyway, I showed you how to put the, the little pockets in here to where you can screw it in so it looks like it's floating. So anyway, what we're doing is you start off, you gotta tear it apart, okay? I relieved all the staples from the back, as you can see. And now you'll see, you pull it up and you look where you're at. You just look where you're at. I recommend starting from the end that they started from. See how that folds in? Look at that. See? This is the last one they did, and it folded over, and then they took up the slack to where they had their pockets. But they didn't really put pockets in there, as you can see. They just stapled it down and left it large to where a screw, which is right there, could be hidden. But get into the habit of four on the end, four on the end, two in the middle, and leave that pocket open in the middle. Cause that's on the top of the boat usually there's five inches so you're going to catch it either on the top or the bottom so that's a good rule of thumb so what you do is you come back through here and you just kind of gently wiggle the foam around and you'll see a staple or two where you see a staple just reach down in there dig in pop it out boom boom Try not to, to tear up your foam. And then when the staple's on the inside, just pull your staple through. Push down. Just remember, you know, you don't want to destroy your foam. So you know, you don't got to be a professional upholsterer to know how to do that. But it's something that's important. Just quick and easy. And you'll steam that out and that'll fluff up. Okay, but, and then you come back here and you see how they done that. You always get rid of every staple. I don't care if you're using it or not good habits to get into so anyway when this folds over see that that's where the foam went and then this goes over and then you a staple accordingly so disassembly is that same thing but you can see how they did it and now when this is revealed you'll see another thing too see that that piping that welt cord that comes through there you can see as this comes up how that's supposed to be laid. You see that? You want that to extend. It probably extended out to there. They stapled it down and then they cut it. But uh, always give yourself a good inch, okay? And uh, yeah, boom, boom. So you see that? Bam. So that's a pattern, that's one. So what do we do? We start with one. Let's go one. Let's go one. Okay, one. Well, you know where the back's at. We'll go one F. So you have to. That's one. One. This is the back. This is the front. Look at that. Imagine that. F, one, one, back. Get into those habits. If you're nervous and you want to make sure you don't forget where you're at, just mark everything. 
but don't get too crazy you know you want to uh it's hot today in Spokane I think it's probably it's 80 degrees or something by now it's gonna get really hot but anyway get into the habit of uh of marking your stuff so you got that you know where that goes keep everything together and your foam always mark the top of your foam with one okay that's your front that's your back okay and do the back back one F you know why because you're gonna put what scram on top of this I'm the scram Nazi <laughs> can I say that on YouTube I'm not a Nazi that's just you know just talking uh, so anyway that's what you do top and bottom because you're gonna put scram on there and then you're still gonna have your markings on the back blah 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 I'm talking like a jibber so then move on come down here BAM relieve 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 so this one here is a little different this is the this is an individual piece so we know what that is so something like that I just go BAM get it off you just pull that sucker off turn it around the only thing that means anything to you is that foam you've already cut that piece See, like that, you know the square, the hatchet in goes on the hatchet in. That's straight up and down. The angle goes on the angle. You already know that. Just get rid of the pieces of staple that remain in the middle. Doing, you know, don't destroy the foam. Just take your time. Push in, twist, and get rid of them. Upholstery is prep, and you'll find that. Uh, when you go to actually upholster something, it's quick. I mean, and so I've did it in minutes, 10, 15 minutes in some cases. You know, of course, it depends on what you're doing, but upholstery is nothing compared to prep. If you're a good prepper and a good sewer, you're an excellent upholsterer. Because then it's just, you're just walking through. You know where it goes. You know how to fold and overlay and staple and tug and pull and adjust in your margins and lines. It's art. It's art. Your eye will never lie to you. And therefore, you will never lie to yourself. That was kind of deep, wasn't it? Sorry about that. So moving on. Yeah, so there's two parts. This one is necessary, but it's not necessary in this application because... This piece right here is actually hidden underneath of there. It's folded under, but it gives you room to staple and adjust. So it is necessary. Uh, I'm doing it this way just to show you in a video, just so you do not come up short. Coming up short means um, it's going to be too deep or too high or too shallow. So you got to keep your depth, as you can see there, but you want that dive. I want that dive to come in like that. There's a couple pieces of glue that are on here. I gotta clean this up a little bit, so don't worry about that. Anyway, so you take that off, you know what that is. If you watched the last video. Yeah, and just, uh, you see the prior marks? See how they got their blue marks or their pencil marks there? That pencil mark is the boundary of the foam, which kind of shrunk up on them, but. So I like to go over that original mark and I go to the end. I always go to the end. And I can just rip these off. So that's one, this is two. This is our back, B. This is our front, F. Okay, and then we'll just kind of gently with our fingers, wherever there's staples, always wear gloves. If you're an upholsterer and you're doing this stuff and you get a big cut, a sli I've, had, I've had staples slice me wide open. That will hinder your job, especially right, if you're right at the end of a job and you can't use your finger. You might get through that day, but the next day it's going to hurt so bad you can't touch anything. Always use gloves and always be mindful. Don't ever drag your hands across anything ever. Trust me, you'll set yourself back. You'll, 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 you'll mess up... Uh, closure on a job because you won't be able to come through because you can't touch anything it's a real thing trust me so anyway it won't come out just pull it up a little bit it's foam it's forgiving just don't rip it and tear it too terribly 
because you're putting scrim over the top if you're smart like me. Well, I ain't smart, but it works for me. So anyway, boom, boom. There's one. And you know where it's at. There's two. One, two. See that? That's how, and then there's a staple. Boom, boom, get it out. There's another one, even though it's not going to get in your way and probably wouldn't matter. Get into the habit of getting rid of all of them. Okay? And then when you got your gloves on, and only when your gloves are on, walk around and get rid of everything. You know? Always wear gloves. These are really good, good, good gloves. These are armor skin. Fabric and killer gloves. Okay, so... Yeah, but don't overthink things. Just remember what you're doing. See the bigger picture. You're doing geometry. And watch how it lays. Be mindful. And know, that, know your principles. And these principles, I, I get into the habit, and you should too, especially if you're if you're new. Always pull your staples. They're not in your way. They're not going to mar your new fabric if you're doing like this here. It's quick patterns. Yeah, I'm not doing exact patterns. I'm just laying them down and getting a, a, just a basic shape, chalking them out, cutting them out, laying them down, folding them over, and adjusting. If you if you want to get exact about it, you know, to the only reason that you do that is to uh, save fabric in my book. But when you're starting out, whatever, you know, get, get in where you fit in. But uh, like I said, do your fingers gently all the way around the perimeter. You see a staple, just kind of wiggle it till it pops. Wiggle it till it pops, wiggle it till it pops. Boom, boom. Come back, get rid of that staple, get rid of that staple. Get rid of that staple. You got your gloves on, so you're not going to get your fingers caught up. All right, you see where our line is there on that one. See that? You're good. So you see that? You have to. You can go. If you can go front. Okay, you can go three, you can go back. See that? Bam! And this one. That longer one's in the back. Right? Oh, had it right the first time. Yep, and you can, you can look at you where your staples were to tell you if you were right or wrong. Boom, there's one there, there's one there. Yep, that's it. So we'll go back, three, front, back, three, front so these are just these are just these are for you because you're gonna like sometimes you as your job skills progress and you start accepting bigger jobs and you got a the back of a boat's got all these swooshes and these different patterns and all this different geometry at one time you're gonna have laid out on your table with gussets um, you could have a, a seat that has 16 pieces <laughs> so labeling them will save your bacon because you, you, you'll have a moment. We all do to where you'll go, ah, you know, you'll just stutter and go, where are the, okay, okay. You don't have to walk away, come back and go, okay, that, that's, that's the, the left front. That's the right front. That's that back piece. Okay. And then that's that middle piece. Trust me, it's going to happen. So label it and, and you're good. I mean, you're good. And then again, take pictures like we did. I showed you on that one. We took pictures. So take photographs before you even start. Start from, you know, get a good high one. Bam, from the back. One in the middle. One on there. Flip it upside down. Bam, bam, bam. And then start to tear it apart. And as you do so, if you have to, click that, that first one. One. 
and then number two, and then number three. Click, 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 right, you know? Just just do it that way. If that's, if you're not confident enough, you know? But on these gunnels, good rule of thumb also, is while it's still sitting there, you know, throw that big, throw that big sharp across there. You can go across the top, whatever it takes. You know, so you know where you're at. And this is how you tear down for the future. And uh, like I said, I like to, it's a, it's a good habit to get into of uh, just tearing, tearing your, you know, removing your staples from your patterns. Even though you're just gonna, I'll show you how we're gonna do it on the next video, which is gonna be immediately after this. How to, uh, so yeah, we marked it. One, two, three, four, that's the back. That's the front, just follow suit. Back, front, back, front, back, front. Okay, one, one, two, three, this is four. Wiggle it up like this around the edges, just loosen it up wherever there's a staple, just kind of just gently pop, and then pop, and then pop, pop, pop. So you know and then if you have to if you, if you want to be for sure put an arrow because you know that's the bottom okay remember I was messing around with that is that the top is that the bottom let's put an arrow there a little arrow you can never have enough witness marks witness marks are your friends as my buddy Ron Pearson always told me that's the guy that taught me the ropes so anyway Nice to meet good people. Bring it up. Bam. So once again, that's my front. Oops, looks like an E. And I'm four, and then this is my back, right? Four, back, front, bam, bam. See how we're doing this? Systematically, one, two, three, four. You gotta mark the arrows, you know where the arrows are down. You know where they're down. You know where they're down. Whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Don't overthink it. You panic, stop, step back and go, what am I doing? Compartmentalize it and go, this, look how big, what is this, you know? 60 inches long, you know, at its width, at the biggest width, it's some 10, 11 inches down to five or six. This is a, this is nothing. Look at it that way. This is this is just this tiny little nothing. It's fabric and wood. I say this because this will happen to you. You will panic. That's why we're doing the markings. Okay, witness marks. Don't panic. And when you do, because you will, sorry. Stop and, and look at it for what it is. It's a chair. I'm doing a chair. Walk off. Come back with confidence. Because everything you're going to encounter in life is confidence. If you don't have confidence, you're corking in the, in the water. You walk in like you own it. For real. Fake it till you make it. That's half of the world. Half these people in these big corporate jobs and this and that, they walk in, they don't know what the heck they're doing. You walk in and figure it out as you go. So don't let no one tell you anything. Fake it till you make it. Just don't let them see you. <laughs> don't let them see you sweat. <laughs> Okay, so, again, bam, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Don't, you know, you don't want to destroy your foam. Just pull it up. doesn't matter if it pops through and there's a little hole in the back. doesn't matter. Okay, so, here's our back. It's number five. That's our front. That's our front. Number five. That's our back. That's going to actually be our, our number because this is going to be covered up with a piece of that pink scrim right there. Okay, so all we have left, we bring this back over, we turn this inside out, and we go back, and then we go five, and then we go front, and then we're good. Turn this up. Yeah, we're good there. So that's our number five.
and then we'll so I do this I mean you don't I mean you could get away with it but it's just a good habit because you never know you could have a really nice nice piece of, of vinyl you never know and and drag it and it would just scratch across the top and you might have just ordered it just enough for the job and, and you're out or, or they don't have any more so this right here just eliminates any possible oopsies you know what I mean just like oh no Can, I, and you're just like how did that scratch are you kidding me it happens and it will happen guarantee <laughs> yeah it just it'll happen so anyway there we go we're going there we go that's number five yeah see that lays in on itself bam bam so those are our pieces okay so we're going to take our pieces and we're going to put them over here out of the way so then we come back through and and so anyway that's the tear down okay and then this is five that's the back that's the front okay that's the bottom uh that's an initial tear down and then you tear them apart Trace them out. I'm going to show you that in the next video. I'm Colt from Spit and Tax Upholstery. I'll see you around like a donut. Aha!